Hello everybody and welcome to our Operation Christmas Child online celebration event for the 2021 Shoebox campaign. You're going to be really encouraged as you hear about the positive outcomes from our Shoebox project this past year. You, along with thousands and thousands of other supporters and volunteers around the country, showed resolve and resourcefulness to have a great shoebox project rising to meet the challenges ongoing of COVID-19. So I'm going to briefly share with you some of the uh, positive outcomes of the campaign. So first off, I want to take you back to National Collection Week, 15th to the 22nd of November when over 1,000 churches, businesses, shops, even private homes opened their doors to welcome our supporters as they dropped off their shoe boxes. 200 of those drop-off points were what we call church collection centres, where those churches made a special commitment to have teams of volunteers there at the church to welcome in members of their community to share about the shoe box project with them and then also to invite them and welcome them to the other activities of their church. Then after National Collection Week, our team, our amazing team of mainly volunteer drivers, went all around the country and their regions collecting batches of shoeboxes and delivering them to one of our regional processing centres. We had eight of these in the country, three big ones in Birmingham, near Cambridge and Tunbridge Wells and they ran for four weeks. Then new for 2021, we had one week pop-up processing centres. We were welcomed by five churches who allowed us to use their worship area and their church hall to check shoeboxes for uh, the week. And we had those in Glasgow, Belfast, Cardiff, Birmingham and Preston near Manchester. Now altogether, over 2,000 volunteers served in our processing centres, checking the shoeboxes, they were safe and uh, the gifts all appropriate for the children that will receive them, and then cartoning them up for export. Now that was double the number of volunteers we had in 2020, so it, that is really uh, encouraging. And together, you served for over 13,000 hours of activity. Well done. Uh, everybody. And so the shoeboxes were exported to four countries in Eastern Europe, specifically uh, Belarus, Bosnia, Albania and Moldova. Then two countries in West Africa, Liberia, in fact we sent 10 shipping containers to Liberia and uh, Nigeria. Then lastly two countries, one in the Middle East and one in Central Asia, but we don't specifically share the name of those countries because of uh, security concerns for our ministry uh, partners in those destination uh, countries. But enough of me spouting specific details and numbers. I want to share with you a video and photo presentation from the collection and processing season. Have a look at this. St. Peter of Swansea, we are addicted to Operation Christmas Child. Here in the sign, it is a privilege to pack uh, these boxes for Operation Christmas Child. It's a joy and a privilege for us. I've had a lesson, you need to put a cast leaf box out and a couple of blender dies. Here in Slethy, we've been collecting boxes for the last couple of years. I enjoy packing my box. Merthyr Tidbell loves sending shoe boxes around the world.
beautiful gifts given to little kids who don't get Christmas gifts every year, but they're beautiful gifts who point us to the ultimate gift which our Father has given us in Jesus Christ. And these shoeboxes help children all over the world hear about Jesus, and that is amazing. We ask, Lord, for every child that's going to open these boxes, Lord God, not only will they be blessed and overwhelmed by the kindness and generosity, but Lord, let them be touched in their hearts. Let them hear the good news of the gospel, Lord God. Holy Spirit, go and do your work. Pave the way. Soften hearts, not only of the children, but of the parents as well, Lord God. Let your kingdom extend in Jesus' wonderful name. And all God's people said, Amen. I'm delighted to welcome Trish to join me in hosting our celebration event. Trish is our regional volunteer manager for the East of England. Welcome, Trish. Thank you, Nick. Can you believe that 21 containers and nine lorries have left the UK shores containing amazing shoebox gifts? I had the privilege of serving alongside some of our incredible volunteers in one of our processing centres in the East of England. And I can honestly say it was a pleasure. We had so much fun and plenty laughs and the odd men's pie or two. I praise God for each and every one of the volunteers who chose to give up their time and energy to serve in an Operation Christmas Child Processing Centre across the UK. Without each and every one of their contributions, we could not have sent all the UK shoeboxes. Yes, and I had the privilege of serving alongside our volunteers in Belfast, Glasgow, Tunbridge Wells and Preston. I too am in awe of the dedication of those who came each day to ensure that the shoeboxes will reach the, the hands of grateful children. Each and every minute of volunteering given made sure that there would be hundreds and thousands of smiles around the world. We're so excited to reveal in a few minutes the grand total of the number of shoeboxes donated in the UK in 2021. The suspense is killing me. Well, we don't have to wait long now. What I love about Operation Christmas Child is that it doesn't finish with the shoebox. Each child is given the opportunity to receive a separate gift called The Greatest Gift, a booklet in their own language. And we also invite the children to attend The Greatest Journey Bible Discovery Program. These kids behind me are so excited because they've just received their boxes. Have you ever thought what comes after the box? At Samaritan's Purse, we've got an incredible program after Operation Christmas Child. It's called The Greatest Journey. The purpose of Samaritan's Purse is evangelism. We just don't want to just hand out a box. Children that put their faith and trust in Jesus Christ, we want them to grow in their faith. We want to disciple them and raise up an army of young kids who can take their faith and share it with another child so that that person will put their faith and trust in Jesus Christ. This is what it's all about, evangelism, taking the gospel to another generation. You shall love the Lord your God. You know that you're passing on what you've learned to another person, not just keeping the knowledge for yourself. You feel loved. You feel like, you know what, I'm at home. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do right now. We always work through the local church. And when it's all said and done and the training's finished, these kids are going to be part of the church, going out into their communities, sharing their faith in Jesus Christ. The Greatest Journey is a great opportunity to impact the life of a child, teaching children how to share their faith with their friends and family around the world, raising up an army of evangelists who can take the gospel to the next generation. Operation Christmas Child is a year-round ministry program that is run in each country by volunteers who form that country's national leadership team. I am really excited to introduce a video from our national leadership team in Liberia. My name is Pastor Alfonso Dean. I'm the national coordinator of OCC Liberia. Liberia is Africa's oldest independent republic. It had its independence in 1847. It has a population of 4.5 million people. And of that number, 68.5% of them are young people. So Liberia is predominantly a young population. And of that number, 38.2% of them are 
are children between the age of 2 to 14, which makes it a very good ground for the operation of OCC. And we are thankful that we can be a part of this great nation and what the Lord is doing here. We are now in the West Western region in the OCC program Africa, and we are glad to, to just be a part of what God is doing here. Now, as we look at the year 2020 and 2021 seasonal year for OCC, we will call it a blessed year, even though during this period, the pandemic, COVID-19 has ravaged the whole world and things were going, there was great lockdown, there were no movement, schools were closed all around. Liberia too was no exception. Our country experienced a great lockdown. And however, OCC program was not stopped, which we want to thank God for. One of the oldest men, 118 years old, who was a Muslim in all his lifetime, was the first time receiving free gifts, gifts that didn't have financial attachment. As a result of that one free gift, he opened his village to us. Today, there is a school in our village today. There are churches being built there today. They have given 30 acres of land for schools, for churches to be built. To the glory of God, we want to say thank you that the Lord has allowed that. Our national leadership teams work throughout the year to deliver the Operation Christmas Child program. This starts with the distribution of your shoebox gifts, invitations to the children to attend the greatest journey, and then identifying the areas for the children to receive the following year's shoebox gifts. And often we don't realise that different children receive shoebox gifts each year. At Operation Christmas Child, we want as many children as possible to receive the joy of a shoebox and hear the good news of Jesus Christ. Joy like this little fellow experienced in Uganda. Just like in the receiving countries, we have volunteers here in the UK who work in partnership with us all year round to promote Operation Christmas Child. From January through to March, we try to connect with as many of our donors as possible to let you know where your shoebox has gone. Get some feedback and importantly, thank you for your amazing donation. April through to June, we contact new groups, schools, churches to ask if they would like to be involved in packing shoeboxes. And finally, from July through to November, we contact our donors to provide them with all the resources they need as they launch the project into their community area. And today we've got one of our Connect promotional volunteers with us. So welcome Sue. Hi Trish. Thank you so much for coming and being with us today. Would you like to share a little bit about who you are and where are you from? I'm Sue. I'm actually from Worcester now. I've lived there for the last six years, but previous to that I was a volunteer in Huntington. So in, in your Cambridgeshire yeah. area, be, before you were there. <laughs> Fantastic. And what role do you do now in Worcester? In Worcester, I'm actually the area coordinator. Um, I've got a very small team of people who are Connect members, um, but a slightly larger team of people who are just normal, uh, I would say normal volunteers, that's <laughs> a good way for it, uh, vo other volunteers. Um, it's great, we work together and we do quite a number of different roles within the team. Fantastic. Um, and what is um, a favourite part of your role? I think a favourite part of my role is actually going into schools, giving talks, um, going into churches, meeting people, uh, coming to the warehouse, uh, promoting OCC. I just, I, it's a project that I so love that basically I just want to actually share it with people and oh. it's just great. Oh, that's fantastic. And so if someone who is watching this today um, was thinking of joining as a Connect Promotional Volunteer, what advice would you give them? I would say definitely pray about it, talk to people, talk to other, OC, uh, other Connect volunteers, see what, what they, they, their role is, because all Connect roles are different. And basically, we need lots of different people our families all made up of different people, aren't they? So therefore, we need different people who can do diff have different skills. 
fantastic. And so I know that you have been overseas and you have seen the shoeboxes given to children. So could you share a little bit about that trip and do you have a personal highlight? Yeah. Um, yes, I went to Albania in December 2017 with my husband and I went on a vision trip. Um, it was fantastic. I had never flown before. I, had, I was actually scared of flying. So that was part of it. There was a lot of prayer to actually get us to the country in the first place. One of the highlights of it was that we just saw God working in so many different ways. Um, and one visit was to a hospital. The hospital was really, really poor. Mm. Um, a two bar electric fire with a flex hanging from a wall. The, bar, the, the fire was in the middle of the ward trying to actually warm all the little beds up that were there. Uh, because it was a hospital, they weren't sure on how many children would be there, what the age of the children were or anything like that. So it was all in God's hands. And when we got there, there had been a little girl who had been abandoned on the steps of the hospital. She was a little probably on the younger end. Um, and basically we were worried that there wouldn't be a suitable box for her, but the very first box that we opened had a very, very large teddy bear in it. And it took me back to thinking of when we're in the actual warehouse, the one thing we actually say to volunteers that come in, respect the donor, think of the donor sitting on your shoulder. And that in that particular case was so true, that box was dominated by this teddy bear. Um, it had a little pink and purple hat, which went immediately on her head. She didn't smile a lot, but then mm. she had been abandoned. Yeah. But she was a beautiful little girl and this teddy bear was just right for her. Yeah, it's amazing the impact the shoeboxes can have. So thank you, Sue, for coming and sharing with us this morning. We are blessed with dedicated and passionate promotional volunteers based all across the UK. They are the heartbeat of this amazing project. Perhaps today you are considering using some of your free time to volunteer. Why not use your time to impact the lives of children across the world? At Operation Christmas Child, we have lots of opportunities across the UK where you can make a difference. These roles are active throughout the year and we would love to discuss this opportunity of volunteering with you. So please follow the link below to find out more information. In the next video, you will meet Kanto and you could be a link to ensuring another child like Kanto receives a life-changing shoebox. I grew up in a village in Madagascar. The village where I grew up is a small village. I would say it's quite a poor area. I went to the local school and really many, many kids would go to school without shoes which was really sad. And for me, it was really like always heartbreaking to see different situations of many of the, the kids. I think for many of the kids and for me as well, having toys or to afford toys is not very common. However, the situation would be, I would be always happy and would see like how blessed I am. So I would always see God's greatness in everything. Back then, I was six years old. We would go to the church like usual. And then I could really see that something was going on in the church. In the middle of the service, they were starting to talk about shoeboxes like that they would give to the children. My heart was really beating like to hear my name. I was waiting so hard. I just remember when I had the box and I was like, wow, it's for me. It was overwhelming for me, like there was this little thing like a yo-yo. It was a pink, a bright pink one. I've never seen one before. I just saw on cartoons. <laughs> and that is Kanto from... Where are you from, Kanto? Um, Madagascar. In our church, I received a shoebox from Samaritan's Purse. I've been volunteering, packing the shoeboxes. I was so touched by seeing so many boxes. I had this like great vision of like the kids so happy receiving that. I was so thankful for all the people that are volunteering. Even if in this hard time of COVID, we stick to guidelines. We are like marking people's life with this gift. It's very important that we keep on going packing the shoe boxes 
This receiving shoebox is something I would never forget. It's something I would bring in my life and I would be thankful for. These shoeboxes are a like, big representative of God's love and God wanting to show his love. Okay, Trish, I really can't wait any longer. How many shoeboxes did we collect as the UK? Well, Nick, um, we have invited mother and daughter team Liz Ventura and Chiara to share the UK total with us. So Liz, where are you from? I'm from Rotherham in South Yorkshire. Fantastic. And share with us, you lead the project in both your church and community. So how did the campaign go for you this year? So I help coordinate and support 15 churches, faith schools and local businesses. We managed to pack an amazing 1,005 shoeboxes. That's an increase on 758 from last year. That's tremendous. Wow. And so how do you encourage them to pack those boxes? Through community shoebox packing, social media, an army of knitters and fundraisers. That's wonderful. Thank you so much for partnering with Samaritan's Purse Operation Christmas Child this year. So just before Liz and Chiara reveal the grand total of Operation Christmas Child shoeboxes collected in the UK in 2021, I just want to affirm each and every one of you for your involvement in this amazing project. Whether you packed a shoebox, prayed for the child that would receive your shoebox, were part of our amazing collections team gathering in the shoeboxes and then delivering them to our processing centre. Whether you were one of those great volunteers that came in and checked the shoe boxes and then placed them on the lorries ready for export. I praise God for you and on behalf of the children, thank you as they experience the joy of receiving an Operation Christmas Child shoe box from the UK. Okay, everyone, are you ready? Let's reveal the total. Two hundred and seventy seven thousand three hundred and fifty shoe boxes from the UK. That's such an encouraging number in that includes 30,000 more traditional boxes than were donated in 2020. It also includes 32,000 shoe boxes given online, which is a massive three times the number of online shoe boxes that were given in 2019 before the pandemic. So let's be encouraged. We are so excited that the project is growing in the UK. And so we do want to encourage you to keep packing boxes, invite your churches, invite your schools, your groups, your neighbours to pack shoe boxes in 2022. And we'll see you in this year. Thank you and goodbye. Bye.